Look, we spent so long together, made so many great memories. We've been to far-flung places, took some amazing photos. I'd say some of my best photos were taken with you. But to be honest with you, you're just not offering me that level of stability that I need anymore. And it's not you, it's me. I feel like I've outgrown you. So for that reason, I'm really sorry, but uh, uh, there is somebody else that I've found. Someone who can offer me that level of precision, that level of stability that I really, really need. And for that reason, I just have to let you go. I'm so sorry. Goodbye. Well, hello there and welcome back to the channel. Um, just to let you know, no ball heads were harmed in the making of that little video. Um, I've come back out to Wrighton Woods again this morning. Quite late in the day, to be honest with you, it's gone 10 o'clock now. Um, so I'm not expecting to get any great photos, but I'm not really here to get any great photos today. I'm here to test out a new purchase I've made for my birthday, which is Sunway Photo uh, GH Pro 2 tripod head. It's a geared head and I've been looking at geared heads for quite a while now ever since I've seen Steve use one and I just admire the level of precision that these seem to offer. I've been struggling with a ball head for quite a while now especially at uh, longer focal lengths where you're getting the, uh, the camera set up on the, on the tripod and you're just fine tuning your compositions and you, you go to tighten up the ball head and it ever so slightly just droops as, you, as you're lining it up. Um, for woodland photography especially, which requires just that absolute finesse of the edges of the, of the photo, I, I, a, ball head, a ball head just wasn't cutting it for me anymore. So I've invested in this. Um, I've read loads of, loads of reviews, um, and it's coming up as quite a, quite a handy piece of kit by the looks of things. And one of the reasons I went for this one really is because of, it's quite compact. It's quite a compact gear head compared to some of the ones I've seen. Um, so, as I say, I'm at writing this morning. Come to this little area here, which is quite like an open coppice, and you've got some beautiful trees. I think there's some oak trees, there's some silver birch over here that are showing some lovely autumn, autumnal colours. Um, it's a very grey flat day, but with the colours that we've got, I think that's going to work really quite nicely. So we might actually get some decent photos this morning. But again, I don't want to get ahead of myself. So I'm going to get this set up. I found a shot just back here, and I'll start to talk you through it. So I've come across this scene here with these silver birch just behind me, which has got some beautiful autumnal colours on them. Now, it's a very blustery day. Uh, the, the leaves and the trees are moving around quite, quite a lot. Um, but it's a thought I've had for quite a while, and I saw a video as well from Simon Baxter a couple of weeks ago, where he talks about embracing the conditions that you're in. So rather than whacking up the ISO and trying to get everything absolutely pin sharp, I'm going against the grain on that full process and I've actually thrown a free stop filter on my, uh, on my lens here, which has given me around a four second exposure, which I think is working out to be really, really nice. So with the leaves moving around, they're just creating this massive splash of color. Um, it looks quite painterly, I'd say, a bit like a sort of oil painting, um, but there's just enough movement in there to still make out that there are leaves there. You can't see the detail in them, but you can definitely see them moving around. It tells the story of the blustery day that we've got here. That's my thought process anyway. So if this one turns out any good, I'll pop it on the screen, but I'm gonna stick around this little pocket here because I'm, as I've been standing here for about the past 30 minutes, I've seen so many potential com uh, compositions and I might end up sticking to this, this whole process of, of this long exposure woodland photography uh, for this morning. Because as I say, it's very blustery but with the splashes of colour that we've got, I think we can get some beautiful painterly photos. So anyway, let me know what you think of this one in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll talk you through our next shot. around from that tree that I was photographing a moment ago and I'm shooting it from a slightly different angle. Uh, quite like this angle because I've got this branch that's coming over, it's cutting like a natural arch straight through to sort of the background where there's just a nice pocket of emptiness really which is kind of like quite inviting. Um, and again sticking to the same uh, principle really of doing a long exposure with this shot. So I'm in at two, uh, two seconds of exposure 
um, which is creating some lovely movement in the leaves and getting that, that same sort of colour effect I was getting on the other shot. Quite like it. Um, just to talk about the geared head, so far, first impressions, I've only used it for two photos so far. Wow, is all I can say. The level of precision this gives me over the ball head is, uh, yeah, it's incredible. Just the fact that you can make these micro movements with just turning the wheels. Uh, so this one here for the sort of the up and down of the, of the photo, and then this one here for the uh, sort of the left and right sort of angle of it, I suppose. And then at the bottom here, you've got a, um, a, a sort of pano uh, lever. So you turn that and it loosens it up and you can just sweep that across, which is, which is fantastic. It's very, very smooth, very, very precise. And you just lock it off when you get to, to the sort of composition that you want and then just fine tune with the, uh, the wheels here. Um, if you wanted to make any kind of like faster movements, you can just flip out these levers and give them a real good twist. And you can see it moves a lot quicker than, than actually twisting the, uh, the knob itself. So yeah, absolutely brilliant. Really, really impressed. Um, yeah, I mean, I haven't used any other geared heads, so I've got nothing to compare them to, but this seems absolutely solid and very, very precise. So I think I'm gonna be very, very happy with this. So anyway, gonna pop this photo on the screen now. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, just gonna stick around here again, I think, for a bit, just see if I can find anything else, because this area is absolutely stunning. Uh, even in these conditions, I think I'm able to get some pretty good images, to be honest with you. So stick around, let's see what else we can find. the same coppice that I've been in all morning and I just walked over to hit this scene here with this oak tree which has got some beautiful autumnal colours to it. I'm going for quite a tight crop at 140 mil and going for quite an abstract scene. Um, I'm not sure it's going to work but there's something about it that caught my eye anyway. Um, so you've got this oak tree with it which is the main sort of trunk is obscured by this beautiful set of golden colours on the leaves there. But just coming off to the right of it, you've got this, um, these branches that have got lovely shapes to them, uh, just leading out to the right there. On the back of the camera, they almost look black, to be honest with you. So you've got that contrast between the orange of the leaves and the, the darkness of those branches that have got lots of shape and form to them. So this, fo this photo is really all about color and shape uh, more than anything. So yeah, I'm not sure it's gonna work, as I say. Look forward to getting it in post and having a look. If it does work, I'll pop it on the screen now. But I think that's probably me done for the morning. I just wanted to get out and test out this new gear head. Um, initial impressions are it's absolutely fantastic. It seems very well built, very smooth, and very, very precise, which is just what I wanted. If that image is any good, I'll pop it on the screen now. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, but as I say, if you have enjoyed the video, please give us a like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, please put them down below. And uh, I look forward to reading, reading them and responding to them. The winds have suddenly really picked up. So I'm going to try and grab another shot now. But thank you for watching. See you soon. Thank you.